Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Classic Science Chapter 10 Living Creatures Exploring Their Characteristics Exam Questions and Answers. We will see some multiple choice questions, one word questions and short answer questions. Which is an insectivorous plant? Option A rose, option B drosera, option C venus flytrap, option D both B and C. The correct answer is option D both B and C. Both drosera and venus flytrap are insectivorous plants. Next one, removal of waste products from the body is called option A respiration, option B photosynthesis, Option C, excretion. Option D, digestion. Correct answer is option C, excretion. Which option is correct about excretion? Option A, only animals excrete. Option B, trees excrete but grasses cannot excrete. Option C, all living beings excrete. Option D, trees cannot excrete. Correct answer is all living beings excrete. Fourth one, dash is a process of producing new ones of one own kind. Options are transpiration, reproduction, excretion, respiration. Correct answer is reproduction. Which statement is correct? Statement 1. Shoots of plants grow downward, but roots of plants grow upwards. Is it correct? No. Shoots of plant grow upward, roots of plant grow downward. Option B. Shoots of plants grow upward and exhibit movement towards sunlight, and roots of plants also grow upwards. Is it correct? No. Roots grow downwards. Option C. Shoots of plants grow upward and roots of plants grow and exhibit movement towards sunlight. Is it correct? No. Shoots of plants grow upward and exhibit movement towards sunlight but roots of plants grow downwards. This is the correct option. Who built a machine called a crescograph to record how plants respond to stimuli like light, heat, electricity and gravity? Options are option A. Isaac Newton, option B. Jagatish Chandra Bose, option C. Edison, option D. Alexander Graham Bell. The correct answer is option B. Jagatish Chandra Bose. Next one. The adult mosquito may survive for option A 10 to 15 days, option B 12 months, option C 5 to 6 years, option D 10 years. Correct answer is option A 10 to 15 days. Breathing is a part of a process called dash. Breathing is a part of a process called respiration. There are tiny pores called dash on the surface of leaves which help plants take air in and out. These tiny pores are called stomata. Urine is formed as a product of dash in animals. Urine is formed as a product of excretion in animals. When we touch a hot object, we immediately withdraw our hand. This is a response to stimulus. Some seeds of flowering plants require light to germinate. Name two plants. Name two plants that require light to germinate. Coleus and petunia. Seeds of some flowering plants need darkness to germinate. Name two plants. Name two flowering plants that need darkness to germinate. Calendula and cinea. Diseases like malaria, dengue and chikungunya are transmitted by mosquito. Mosquitoes pass through four stages in their life cycle. 
the four stages are egg larva pupa and adult next one in india the dash has set up several centers for silk production correct answer is khadi and village industries commission kvic khadi and village industries commission a white jelly like substance on the surface of water towards the edge of the pond is actually a cluster of eggs of a frog and is known as spawn s p a w n spawn give some examples for movement in plants opening of flowers movement in insectivorous plants climbers wind themselves around any object placed close to them all these are movements in plants how drosera plant catches its prey drosera is an insectivorous plants how it catches its prey drosera is featured with the saucer shaped leaves having many hair like projections of unequal length with the sticky ends whenever an insect enters the saucer hair moves inward and trap the insect with their sticky ends drosera has saucer shaped leaves and these leaves have many hair like projections of unequal length with the sticky ends so whenever an insect enters the saucer what will happen the hairs will move inward and trap the insect with their sticky ends have you noticed white patches forming on shirts around the armpits during summers explain the reason these patches are formed due to sweat these patches are formed due to sweat why the sweat consists of water and salts removed by the body as waste products because the sweat contains some salts removed by the body as waste products due to the presence of these salts white patches are formed on shirts around the armpits what is a stimulus anything or any event that prompts living beings to respond is called a stimulus any event that prompts living things to respond that is called a stimulus do plants also respond to stimuli give examples yes plants also respond to stimuli for example touch me not plants fold their leaves when we touch them touch me not plant is also called mimosa or chui mui or lejjalu these plants will fold their leaves when we touch them this is an example of respond to stimuli sleeping leaves of amla or indian gooseberry tree fold their leaves after sunset this is also an example of respond to stimuli when a living being is said to be dead when a living being is not able to exhibit all the characteristics like growth respiration reproduction excretion response to stimuli etc despite the availability of all resources like food air and water needed for being alive it is said to be dead even though they get all the required resources like food air and water if the living being is not able to grow respire reproduce excrete etc then it is said to be dead why water is essential for germination of seeds water enables the seeds to carry out the processes necessary for their growth the outer covering of the seed is called a seed coat water softens the seed coat and helps the tiny embryo inside it to develop into a plant so the covering the outer covering of the seed is called a seed coat water softens the seed coat and helps the 
tiny embryo inside it to develop into a plant. Which are the essential conditions for germination? Water, air, soil, light and or dark conditions. Some seeds need light for germination. Some seeds need dark, darkness for germination. Explain the life cycle of a bean plant. A seed grows into a young plant and matures to produce flowers and fruits. The fruit in this case a pod. In the case of bean plant, this fruit is called a pod. Contains seeds which give rise to a new generation of bean plants. The entire process from a seed to a plant and then to the next generation of seeds is called the life cycle of a plant. Why is kerosene oil sprayed on stagnant water? Kerosene oil forms a thin layer over the water surface. This layer separates water from air and does not allow the larvae and pupae to inhale air. As a result, they die. Why we spray kerosene oil on stagnant water? Because kerosene oil will form a thin layer over the water surface. So, this thin layer will separate water from air and it will not allow larvae and pupae to inhale air. So, they will die. Life cycle of mosquito. See, this is a life cycle of mosquito. There are four stages. Stage 1, egg. Stage 2, larva. Then stage 3, pupa. Then stage 4 is a adult mosquito. Life cycle of a frog. The egg stage which progresses to the embryo stage. Then tadpole stage consisting of an early stage with a tail and no legs and a late stage with the hind legs. The froglet stage and the adult frog stage. So mainly egg stage, tadpole stage, then froglet stage, adult frog stage. Egg stage progresses to embryo stage. Tadpole stage consisting of two stages. An early stage with a tail and no legs and then a late stage with the hind legs. Then third stage is froglet stage, fourth one adult frog stage. Children, the video of the textbook questions of this chapter is already published in my channel. I will post the link in the description box. Please go through it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We will see in the next video. Thank you.